before we get into this video today, I'm gonna need something to drink. But actually, you know, let's make it too. All right, guys, we got Mason's right off the bat. I want to apologize. We haven't been recording a lot today. Uh, Bailey is kind of crunched for time, and uh, we've just been having to knock his transmission build out. His neon needs a break, so we're having to finish it really quick. But we got Mason's motor completely painted. Looks super good. And we're working on installing Mason's trans or Bailey's transmission. As you guys can tell, he's just bolting up the cross member right now. So hopefully we'll have a startup video and drive that here in a, within an hour or so. But just want to update you guys. Sorry, it's been a, I'm sure it's been a lot of time lapse at this point. So sorry for that, but we're just trying to knock stuff out today. Really not going crazy on recording stuff. The motor looks really good. What do you think about the motor, Corey? I think it's blue. It's definitely blue. Looks really good. Once we start bolting parts on it, it's going to look really freaking good. Once we get our manifold up here upside down or the turbo mounted real high. Yeah, Mason doesn't want to do that. We're gonna mount the we're gonna mount the manifold upside down. It'll put the turbo up about right here. Look I like have you have to do it. <laughs> I might have broken, but you know, we fixed it. It'll be fine. We you fixed oh oh my bad, my bad. Fixed is fixed. Fixed is fixed. But this motor is looking freaking sweet. Can't wait to start bolting some parts on it. Right, guys we stopped at the gas station here and we're turning up the sauce on her he's got the smarty out we're just waiting on it to reflash and then we're gonna keep on driving and make sure everything's good on it bailey hates the low stock converter imagine that word all right guys we just got back from uh harbor freight and we have tons of stuff we have to clean on this engine so i figured what a better time than now to get a parts washer so this is the biggest one they had 
Um, I don't think the pumps in them are very good. I think they're pretty much known to fail, but if it does fail, I already have a plan for that, and I wanted to get the bigger one. Uh, we got some degreaser to put in it. This is you're supposed to mix it one part. Uh, degreaser, 15 parts water. So we're gonna try it out because it was there and we didn't have to go anywhere else. I uh, got a couple brushes for it. And then I just bought this dead blow hammer. I don't know why. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together and start trying it out. I already know where I'm gonna set it, so now yeah, let's put it together. Topping her off with some fluid here and we're gonna try her out. Getting close? Huh? Not yet. I would leave it a little low though, because I only put a gallon of that in there. So leave it so that way we can put another gallon of that if it's not strong enough. Probably leave it right here. Well, you know what I'm saying, though? It's going to be really... leaks? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> now we got to plug her in. Hold this real quick, Danny. Corey, if I toss this over to you, can you reach it? What? On the other side of the stove, there's an outlet right there. Corey ain't going to be able to reach it. He's a new plumber. There we go. Oh, yeah. Don't talk about it. Yeah, we'll probably make this thing stationary. Okay guys, last time we talked was Sunday. It is now uh, Tuesday. So the parts washer worked great. We got a ton of parts cleaned up. It's already nice and dirty in here. Don't mind the wild banshees, but it's working out great. We got some stuff soaking in here as well. It's really taking the stuff off of them. Probably shouldn't have touched that stuff, but um, that's pretty much it on that. Uh, pretty much gonna wrap up the end of the video here. I just want to show you guys what all we got done So we got the motor put all got the valve cover on put the injectors in it We still have to switch the uh, valve train over and then we have to uh, Do a couple other small things on it. I mean obviously we I take that back We have quite a bit to do on it, but we got a lot knocked out um, We got to change the rear main seal got a new one of those got to do the oil pan gasket pull the cam out switch the timing cover um, Got to put the manifold on, get the manifold bolts. Mason has an engine adapter. He's getting that cleaned up real good. Um, we got so I had a couple suggestions that I need to explain how this AirDog, for, uh, AirDog 4G 165 giveaway is going to work. So that way it's fair for everybody. So basically, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, and you guys are going to have to keep an eye on this. Um, there's really no easier way for me to do this. You're going to have to keep an eye on when we reach 1,000. Once we reach a thousand, the very next video we put up, it may be two videos from now, it may be three. You have to just keep an eye on it. Once we reach a thousand, I will obviously title the video, you know, that the giveaway is going to initiate. And once the video goes up, from the time it is uploaded, you will have 24 hours to comment your Instagram name. When you comment your Instagram name, we will basically, once the 24 hours is over, we're going to take everyone's names and throw them into a random number generator. Once we draw that number, we will contact you and uh, basically just get your shipping info, stuff like that. But uh, we will record that whole process as well and it will be in the following video uh, showing who won and uh, hopefully we can get like a video of your truck maybe and uh, just give you a good shout out. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys on that. So if you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe now. It's all you gotta do to have a chance to be entered to win this AirDog 165 4G. It'll be a complete kit to put it on your truck. It'll all be legitimate. Still gonna have a warranty and everything. This is if you were to go buy it from a dealer. 
So without further ado, see you guys on the next video.